Hi, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me for another Make It Monday. Today we're going all steam. So this is an A5 train, I think Mallard train, uh, from our Golden Age of Steam CD collection. And it's a fairly simple and quick card to do. It's got some nice big decoupage bits that give you that real 3D depth. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are the two sheets I've printed out from the Golden Age of Steam CD collection. And obviously we're going for the Mallard. So it's an A5 card as you've already seen. So there's lots and lots of different, or well, there's two or three quite large pieces of decoupage to cut out. Um, we've got a Father's Day sentiment, there's also a Happy Birthday sentiment, there's a Get Well Soon and a With Love. I think I'm going to go for the Happy Birthday one. And there's two different gift tags and it's quite a big card. So I'm going to go off and cut all these pieces out by hand. Now some of you, I'm sure some of you think I use a scan and cut machine to cut all my pieces out. I don't, I do it by hand. So I'm going to film it this time so you can see me cutting it all out. But I'll do it in fast forward, don't worry. So it'll only take a few seconds. And I'll be right back with you in real time when it's all complete. change blades this one is now as blunt as blunt comes so I will just quickly change the blade and then get back to it There you have it. So all the pieces that I'm going to be using in all done and dusted and cut out. Now before I actually do start putting this together I've got a few little things that I just want to point out. Now some of you may have noticed that while I was cutting that out I didn't cut out that tiny tiny little piece on top. Now the reason being is that that is already on the picture anyway so it's really really fiddly and you've got to take a view that if it's really fiddly, if you think you're going to make a dog's dinner out of it, then don't do it. Just cut it off. 
Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my Memento dual tip brush marker and I'm just going to go around all of the edges of the decoupage layers for one of two reasons. One, it tidies them up and just makes them look a lot neater if you go around the edges because so, you don't see any stark white lines on the edge of your decoupage. And secondly, um, it hides any imperfections and mistakes that you may have made while you were cutting out. Because, you know, we all know that depending on how many cups of coffee you've had, how old you are, whether you've got, you know, a little bit of arthritis or a little bit of shakes, that our cutting out isn't necessarily always perfect. So, and I'm no different, you know, I'm not getting any younger and I do drink a lot of coffee so and I do tend to do things quite quickly and I do make mistakes so this just helps to hide any of those little imperfections and just makes your cards just look that little bit more finished now I've, you, if you've been watching these videos for a while now you'll know that I do this quite a lot and because I'm right-handed, I'm holding the card in my left hand. And you can see the printed part is facing to the left. That's because if I make a slip while I'm doing this, I'm going to go down that side, like I have done there. There. And that means that it won't be seen because it's on the back of the decoupage layer. I'm not going to go down that way. So it won't show up on the front of the card. So it doesn't matter whether you make a few slips, whether you make a few wobbles, because nobody is going to know. And I'm using black because it's quite a dark layer uh, of decoupage, with it being a train. But if you really wanted to, you could use a different coloured pen. If, I want, if you could have used a blue pen for this, and it would have looked just as good. So any water-based pens I would use. I wouldn't use any non-water-based ones. I wouldn't use alcohol pens because it tends to soak and wick in. But the water-based ones, like the distress markers, the Tim Holtz distress markers are usually very good for this. So there you go. A little bit of a tip. So use those distress markers if you've got them, or any other water-based ones, Tombow ones, or, or even just kiddies felt tips will work just as well. You know, you could get a really inexpensive set from the supermarket and I'll just raid your grandkids, why not? Just don't tell them. Okay, so that's the three layers of decoupage. I'm also going to go around the sentiment just again to hide any imperfections in my cutting out. It does help when you have got a sharp blade and like you say you saw me change the blade over and then switch from one knife to another because I couldn't find the blades for the other knife and again I'm just going to go around my full page there but we're going to make well, we're going to make a dark colored base anyway that's the one you've already seen there we go and it just just adds that bit more of a finishing touch. It doesn't really add that long to the preparation of your of your cards at all. And you can sit and do this while you're watching Coronation Street or East Enders or whatever program it is that you like to watch your CSIs or your Breaking Bads or your Game of Thrones if you're that way inclined too gory for me but there you go okay so that's all my decoupage layers all ready to go so layer one layer two layer three and we just have to make our card blank now so i'm going to go rake in my stash and find some appropriate colored card which i think is going to be black and well i know it's going to be black because i've already done it and i will see you again in a minute so here's my a5 card blank it's just a standard sheet of a4 
cardstock folded right the way down the middle. A little bit of dust on that one. And that's the side we're going to put our backing paper on. So here is our main backing paper sheet and cut to just the right size so that there's a nice little black border all the way around. So I'm going to glue that down with a little bit of wet glue. This is just unclogging the, the paw. I've got that open, haven't I? There we go. No, oh, that's it. I was just going to say, why aren't you coming out, little monster? But there we go, it's coming now. So a little bit of wet glue, so that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. A little bit of wiggle room. And then we can just place that on the front of our card, making sure we've got a nice equal border all the way around. Now, it's difficult to see the black card on the black mat, so I'm going to take it off. There we go. That's better. So you can see now that I've got a nice equal black border all the way around and if I hadn't I can just wiggle that up a little bit just to make sure that that's equal all the way around. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you can see that perfectly now. Every last imperfection. And then literally all I'm going to do now is just to add some foam pads to the back of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the waste from this sheet of foam. Rather than throw it away, I'm actually just going to cut out those three there, because I'm going to use those for the sentiment, and then the rest I'm actually going to see if I can utilise on the backs of my decoupage. So rather than chuck it in the bin. Now look at that. Perfect, as the saying goes. And that one can go up there like that. And let's take the back off. I don't believe in throwing stuff away which can be used. And then we can line that up with our picture and start adding on our dimension. And of course, if you're a traditionalist, you can curve this if you want to, but you don't have to because, you know, it's all down to personal preference. It's entirely up to you how you make your cards. That just wants to come off there. And I just need a strip along there as well. big do we want that to be? Not that big at all. Let's just take that across there. I love that phrase, waste not, want not. It's great. Okay, so a bit there, not needed. That should do us. And if you know you're going to be sending this through the post, then you can take as much care as you like popping in foam pads uh, in the places that you think that it's going to be needed. And just tuck that under there. That's it. Now look at that. Completely in the wrong place. But that's what's good about some foam pads you see. You can lift off and reapply. Ah, it's more like it. That's better. Okay, so on here I'm just going to use up the last remaining bits. Probably have got more stashed away somewhere. And then just cut those into two. And I'm going to pop one in there, and then another, actually will that fit? Probably will. Look at me trying to get the most out of all this. This is definitely frugal crafting at its best. Right. 
and then will that fit in there? No, it probably won't do. Okay, so I'm just going to borrow one foam pad from that set there and stick it in there. Now we're now we're happy. Okay. So every bit of that sheet of foam pads gets used. Grand, and then we'll just add in our foam pads there and there on our sentiment. Take it off, and then that can sit just on that bottom there. How's that? And there we go. Let's get rid of all that rubbish. And they have it. One three deed Mallard A5 fantastic birthday card. Done in a jiffy. So that's all from me for today. Hope you've enjoyed watching that card get put together and you'll join me again real soon. And don't forget if you'd like to see more videos from me or from Ian uh, on a regular basis then don't forget to subscribe which you can do so by clicking the button at the end. Okay, see you again soon. Thank you.